Welcome everybody, this is Heroes and Brews yep. with Nerdy Dudes. And what are we? Beeros. Your friendly neighborhood, neighborhood Beeros. Beeros. Duh. What are our names? Well, I'm Kev. And I'm Ty. And tonight, we are doing, personally, my favorite segment. I love this segment. I don't this know is a good one. Villain or just a dick? Straight from Steve's brilliant mind, mm. this segment. Brilliant. And I was so happy when he made that question when we were going to Chipotle, which is like our spot. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Chipotle. It's a little, a little restaurant. It's a little restaurant. I think it's going. It's. it's gonna, I think it's, it's gonna, gonna go places. Big. Yeah, it's gonna get really. Big. Yeah, it's gonna catch on. You pick your own like ingredients for like a burrito or taco or like yeah. burrito bowl. It's pretty. It's pretty ingenious. It's cool. Yeah, it's good. Shout Rice, out to beans, meat, sauces. Yes. Sauces, bam, bam, cheese, bam, bam, guac, bam, 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 all that fun stuff. Bam, bam, yeah. But this isn't here's and brews with guacamole and chipotle and cheese. However, I would be okay if we if we did that. Maybe we'll have like Chipotle one day and one like time. do a review on Chipotle just for just random thing, you know? You get me just, so excited. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, anyway. You get emotional. Miller Dick. Yep. We're doing Lex Luthor, mm-hmm. Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor from Batman. Versus Superman. Yeah. While we're drinking our Bell's Point, Longfin, Stew Pickle, something Bickle. Sebastian. Sebastian Bickle. Something like that. He's st- we still don't know. We don't know what it is. Rem- remind him, please. I don't know. Watch watch the videos. Let me know. Let him know. We'll please, watch and please. we'll correct ourselves. But Kevin. Mm-hmm. Lex Luthor. Yeah. Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. Yeah. From Batman vs. Superman. Uh-huh. Is he a villain? Or is he just a dick? Okay, man. So, lay it on me. I was thinking about this, right? And I actually just watched BVS maybe like a week or two ago. Um, not for the segment, just because I just wanted to watch it again. Because at first I was like... He was... He hated it. I was it. angry. Well, he wasn't was angry. Like, he was very angry. Hopes were high. I never seen Kevin so disappointed in my life. I... Didn't want to do anything that weekend. This was before the podcast, too, we started. It was. I wish we would have had a podcast on it, because it would have been awesome. It would have been brutal. I would yeah, have, like, probably flipped everything. And no, we didn't have a table at the time. It was bad, man. It was <laughs> a whole weekend. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I just, I didn't I didn't see, like, what the point of getting out of bed was. Um, it was just a dark time. But you know what? I've forgiven it. The Ultimate Edition came out. Liked it a lot more. I actually enjoy the film. Mm-hmm. I really do. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor, and Batman v Superman. Is he a villain or just a dick? And when I thought about it, the way I see it, and if I'm allowed to do this, I feel like he's a combination of both. So when you're first introduced to Lex Luthor, mm-hmm. he's this real quirky, like eccentric, uh, billionaire child in a way like almost like inherited daddy's money perfect way to put his you know child and just his mannerisms and and the way that he presents himself is very it's very dickish um i mean just everybody that he's talking to especially like this the senator and that other guy i don't know he's some Guy with glasses, like grayish hair, some like big wig business guy. Yeah. Um, he, when he shoves like the Jolly Rancher in his mouth, I mean, he does all yeah, these like a subordinate of the mayor. Yes, he does like all these dick moves. However, dick moves. So, you know, through the beginning of the course of the, of the film, he he's has very dick tendencies. Um, you took that from me. Dick tendencies? Yeah. Did I take that from you? Yeah, you took that from well, me. I learned from the best. I'm just saying. What a nice guy. I know. I'm okay sometimes. So he has these dick tendencies. And however, when I think we get to the point in the film where he shows Superman that he has his mother. Yeah. He's holding his mother captive. And the only way to save his mother is if he did, if he kills Batman. And... To me, that point, because that's the point in the movie where everything unfolds yes. and you realize that this guy's master plan is to have these two titans clash, face one another. Yep. 
Um, and he figured Batman, with how you know how intelligent Batman is and what he's capable of doing, he could defeat this god, or this Which, god defeats man. But he was pretty right with the man defeating the god, because yeah. Bruce was inches away from putting an end to Mister Clark Kent. Yes, he was. Yeah, spoilers: Clark Kent is Superman. If you guys don't know that, but um, but yeah. So when he came up with that plan to. Like, he had all these things kind of um, trickled throughout the movie that, that led up to this one point. Yeah. Um, to me, that shows villain. So, my question yes. to you is, the segment is villain or just a dick. Yes. So, there's no combo. If you had to choose one or the other, okay, what would you go with? Overall. Overall? Overall. Villain. Okay. Yes. So here's my I'd opinion. Have to Ready? Say he's a villain. This version of Lex Luthor kind of annoyed me a little bit. He yeah, there was parts that bothered me too. He was like part Riddler, part Joker, part weirdness. Because the Lex Luthor I know and love is the sophisticated. Yes. The one who wants to just beat Superman because he wants to show that he is all powerful with yes. all his money, his wealth. And that he can conquer a god. He wants to show that he has the ability to do what no one else can do. He yes. wants to show his, like, show flex his muscles and show what he can do. And that's the Lex Luthor I love. Yeah. This Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor, I think he's just a flat dick. <laughs> just, when yeah. you make a, well, he made Doomsday. He, made, he took General Zod's cells, his own cells, to create this monster, and you let a monster loose on your own city, you're a freaking dick. That's kind of that is kind of a dick move. An unstoppable beast, just for what reason? Because Batman and Superman didn't kill each other. You're like, you know what? Now because you guys didn't kill each other, I'm gonna kill everyone and try and kill you two at the same time. But come on, you got the two top heroes, three top heroes. In the world, who come yeah. together, which no one thought was going to happen within the movie, yeah, come together to defeat Doomsday, as Superman took his life for the time being, spoiler alert, to help Spoilers. take out Doomsday. Yeah. When you do something like that, I think you're a straight dick. He went around people, you know, flexed his muscles with his money, because he didn't have any muscles, and sorry, if you hear random noises... I forgot to put my phone on silent, so <laughs> just just don't mind the blips and the brings and the whatever. They're not on. even there. Ignore that. I apologize. That was completely my fault. All good. Don't know what happened. I had my phone on silent all night, and you can turn it on silent if you want. I'm not getting up. It's okay. just too, it's like actually I can't grab it. You totally. Can. Anyway, I want to grab and like change things in a second, yeah. but I just just his his demeanor, the acting, his personality. He's just a dick. He's playing basketball in his company's office. Just because he can. Just because he can, right? And then has a meeting with the mayor and tries to, like, say, hey, uh, you know, I want some kryptonite, and I found <laughs> this. So if you let me access to General Zod's body and his ship, yeah. like, we could be good friends. And she's like, uh-uh. And her subordinate's like, if you shove Johnny Ranches in my mouth for me, <laughs> I'll let you do it. Yeah. Like what? If it's a cherry, you're not a you're not a Jolly villain Rancher. if you're taking a cherry Jolly Rancher out and you're like, yeah. hey wait, uh, you yeah, take it and then put that right there. And then he licks his fucking fingers. Sorry. Yeah. It's the strangest thing in the world to me. It is a weird scene. It is a, it is a it's it's kind of disturbing. Um, and to know that all it took was a a uh, piece of candy for the guy to go. All right, fatty, he's good body. Um, but yeah, that that, that was kind of weird. Um, I mean, this is one that I kind of went back yeah. and forth just because this wasn't my favorite Lex Luthor. I agree. Um, and it's not like you said; it's not the Lex Luthor that that I know from the comics. You know, the yeah. the, the very strong, sophisticated political figure. Yep. Um, but you know, watching it again and realizing that. Um, I think a lot of people underestimated him on how intelligent he really is. I agree with that. I can completely um, agree there. And how manipulative he really is is what indicated, what showed me that he was he's yeah. a villain. And and the fact that, that one scene, um, that, and it's real brief, but 
So it's a scene, obviously, where um, I had mentioned before, where he scatters the pictures of Clark's mother all over that building, and Clark is knelt down in front of him, and Jesse Eisenberg, Lex Luthor, kind of takes his hand and just kind of like waves it around his yeah. head in a way. Just show me. I mean, he says this thing like, "Now God, uh, I believe, bends bends to my will," or something yeah. along those lines. And I thought, this guy, this 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 fragile looking being, has this yeah. man who could destroy the world if he wanted to, and he is bent down in front of him, like he yeah. just knew all the points to hit, and it all led to that that final point at the end of the movie where it's just like boom, 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 and it all lined up to where everybody's like, holy shit, and he just kind of stood there like, you guys kind of underestimated me, but here I am. And the fact, and, and I get. You pose a very good point. I get what you're talking very about, Doomsday. Because, I mean, if you think about it, like, this this thing's gonna. Decimate everything. Exactly. It's, Thank it's you. It's Doomsday. The, and, the apocalypse. Yes. Well, not the X Men apocalypse, but you know what I mean. But yeah. This thing's gonna destroy that whole city and, and may go even further. And it's like, well, what what's he gonna do after this happens? The only defense that I have for that is spoilers so in the ultimate edition you see jesse eisenberg's character um with what appears to be steppenwolf Mm -hmm. who is supposedly the villain in the justice league film yeah um and he's there steppenwolf's there he's got mother boxes in his hands and um the only thing i can think of is he just thought because he's he's had this connection with Steppenwolf and who knows Dark Side yeah. and, and all this kind of stuff that he just felt because I'm siding with them I'm fine yeah. I'm gonna create Doomsday it's gonna do its thing but even though this could be false you know because you know villains can be very ma- manipulative as we said Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor could think. I'm solid. I'm I'm in with with these guys, you know, Dark Side, Steppenwolf, these bigger forces in the universe. I'm I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do their will and do this stuff, but they'll take me in, you know. Yeah. So that's my only reasoning for for why he he did that. No, you you but, pull up a valid point, but I could be wrong. You put a, you push good argument, and I want to know, and I think you want to know what the people think. Yeah. Is Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor a villain? Or is he just a dick? Just a dick, Please, man. let us know, comment. Like we said, if we had computers, we'd have the... Yeah, just make the sound effects like that. I'm pretty sure that's like a keyboard. Not a keyboard. Uh, it sounds like a typewriter. Typewriter. That's, that's what I was looking for. Shing. Anyway, check out Val's point. Name your fishes. Don't forget, please. Name just y'all name fishes. Them. Hashtag name your Hell, fishes. Hell, you can forget the name of the fish after you name it. Seconds later. Yeah, who would ever later. who would ever do that? Who would literally whatever. name a fish <laughs> and then a few a few seconds later forget what he or she named said fish? It's, it's, but it's fine. Just at least as long as you who name would do it. that? Name the fish. Tell us. Is Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor, a villain? Or is he just a dick? We thank you for watching. Have a great night. Have a good night, guys. And we'll see you later this week. We'll see you next time. Week.